Hey everybody, Wilfilm Studio Zombie 3D here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Anycubic Photon M3 Premium. The Photon M3 Premium is Anycubic's new 8K high resolution printer with a 28.5 ultra pixel resolution. It also comes with Anycubic's brand new Light Turbo 2.0 COB light source at a 10 inch monochrome LCD screen with a 380 to 1 contrast ratio. The M3 Premium also comes with dual air purifiers and a larger vat. In my experience, the vat holds almost 2 liters of resin, so you'll have lots of resin for all your prints. Alright, let's get this out of the box and set up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the UV cover. The first thing we're going to have on top of the foam is our instruction and setup manual. Next, we have the box full of our tools and accessories needed for the printer. And here we have one of the new Anycubic Air Pure filters. They have a USB port built into it and it plugs into a cradle on the back of the printer. And here's our second one. And next up we have our standard power adapter. Now we can go ahead and remove this first piece of foam. Next up we have the print platform itself. It uses the same laser edge surface as the rest of the M3 series. Now we can get rid of this piece of foam as well. Alright, I'm going to get everything laid out on the table and I'll be right back. Alright, here we have everything laid out on the table. Here's our print platform. Next we have our setup and instruction manual, as well as a screen protector cleaning kit and the instructions for installing the screen protector. Alright, next up we have our three pairs of gloves, our mask, and our filters. The filters are really handy for when you empty your vat. Next up we have the metal scraper for removing the prints from the print platform. And then the plastic scraper which I don't use on any of my printers. I prefer to use silicone. And next we have our allen keys for tightening and loosening the bed for leveling. Our Wi-Fi antenna which wasn't enabled when I was testing. Any cubic should have the cloud app up and running in January. And here's our USB stick with our files and manual. And here we have the two air pure systems. They plug into the cradles on the back of the base, one on each side. And here we have some extra screws for your resin vat, just in case they get damaged or you lose some. And then finally our power supply. All that's left to do is install the Wi-Fi antenna and plug in the printer so we can install the bed and level. Simply attach the Wi-Fi antenna to the back of the printer. Now all we have to do is plug in the power and turn it on. Now the first thing we're going to do is remove the resin vat. That way we can install the print platform and level it. The M3 Premium uses a new NFAP. These are much stronger than the regular FAPs. The one on the M3 Premium shares a bit of a matte finish, just like the M3 Max had on it. Throughout all my testing, this FAP has held up great and I haven't had to replace it yet. Now we're just going to carefully put the vat to the side and then remove the protective film on the screen. There's always something satisfying about pulling out these covers. Alright, with that off, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the tools menu and then move Z. 
The manual says to move the Z axis up 50 millimeters. I like to go up about 100 just to give you a little bit of working room. And another 50. Now we're going to go ahead and install the print platform and tighten down the black knob. Once it's secure, we're going to go ahead and grab the big Allen key and loosen up the four bolts on the bed. You want the bed to be able to move freely once we're homing it to set the level. There, now that the platform's good and loose, we're going to go ahead and grab our leveling paper and put it on the LCD. Next, we're going to go ahead and hit the home button on the screen. Now it's going to take a few seconds for it to get down and home. Once it's finished moving, we're going to go ahead and apply pressure. And it's homed. Now we're going to use our one head and apply a bit of pressure on the print platform while we tighten the four screws on the base. And then we can go ahead and give the paper a bit of a tug. If the paper slips out, it's too loose. Now we're going to go ahead and hit Z equals zero and hit enter. The print platform will rise up, giving you enough room to install the resin vat. Alright, now we can go ahead and reinstall the resin vat and put the two screws back in there and tighten it down. Now with the air peer systems, you can either turn them on by the machines themselves, or there's a spot in the menu you can turn them on in the tools menu. But you want to make sure the first thing you do is remove the plastic wrapping around the carbon filters. So the first thing we're going to do is pop the top off of the air filter. And then we're going to remove the carbon cartridge and remove the plastic wrapping. Now these filters are a bit dusty and it'll get a bit of carbon powder everywhere. So you're going to want to make sure to wash your hands really well after you've installed them. Alright, and then we just drop it back into the filter and close it up and we're ready to go. Anycubic has replacement filters on their website. The Photon M3 Premium comes with a 4.3 inch color touchscreen which is really easy to read and navigate. First we have the tools menu and under settings we have the purify settings. Next we have our Muzi status and exposure. The status screen is really handy as it monitors the condition of your pep and reminds you to check it after 30,000 layers. The rest of the menus are pretty basic in line with the M3 series and other Photon line printers. Alright, and that's it for the setup. All we have to do is load some resin and figure out what we're going to print. Sometimes that's the hardest thing, is figuring out what we're going to print. I did the test prints that came with them, but they weren't quite impressive enough for me. So the first one I decided to do was a full-size Ares from B3 to Zerk. And here we have the final result of Ares. I was absolutely blown away about the quality of this model. The parts looked near cast using the 16x AA, and the amount of detail on the finer parts is absolutely amazing.
I couldn't believe how much detail this AK was able to get on such a big statue. I think the M3 Premium was right up there with the D2. The D2 was one of the best resin printers I've ever seen, and this one is right up there with it for sure. The new 8K and the new COB lighting system really shine here. And here you have a little closer shot of it. With the 16xAA, everything is super smooth on the Photon M3 Premium. The cape is absolutely amazing and the arms look cast. Even the fine detail on the fabric on his arm is visible, which is absolutely amazing. Even the grain of the leather can be seen. This was using any cubic water wash plus resin. The stuff worked really well with this print. The amount of detail is absolutely crazy on the armor here. You can see the grain of the leather and all the damage on the plate itself. And next up I did the Solomon Grundy at 50%, also from B3 Dessert. I was absolutely blown away about the amount of detail that this little model had. It really goes to show that this new AK really shines. I couldn't believe the amount of detail on the cloth of his shirt and even his pants. You could see the seams and everything on the pants. Next up I had to try some miniatures. These are 75mm models from Archvillain Games. These guys are well known for having an absolute insane amount of detail in their models. And the Photon M3 Premium really brought them out. I couldn't believe how much detail was on this little figure. Even the wing themselves, they are paper thin. I used the Anycubic ABS Plus for these prints and it came out really nice. Even down to the scales, you can see everything on these models. And finally, a 25mm model from that same set. The detail on this thing speaks for itself. The 8K screen on the Anycubic M3 Premium really shines. Again, using the ABS Plus resin, I was absolutely blown away by the amount of detail on this tiny little figure. I was pretty blown away during my time with the Photon M3 Premium. The print quality was absolutely amazing. I reviewed the Photon D2 earlier this year, and in terms of print quality, they're pretty close. The new 8K screen and COB lighting system really do a great job on printing. I really like the new NFEP as well. I've printed well over 30,000 layers and there's very little marking on it. You can't go wrong with the Photon M3 Premium. Alright everybody, that was my setup and review of the new Anycubic Photon M3 Premium. It's an absolute monster of a printer. I absolutely love it and can't wait to do a whole lot more printing with it. Alright everybody, stay tuned, we have a whole lot more coming up very soon, and be sure to check out our social media to see what's going on with the studio. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.